friends now i would like to discuss a small topic today that is fourniers gangrene it is also called as idiopathic gangrene of scrotum so this uh, this is an uncommon condition and it can occur most commonly it can occur after it is so, okay let me draw it again okay i'll use this pen so this is the scrotum bear with my diagrams my diagrams may not be that good okay so there can be um inflammation of the scrotum okay that too uh, it is permanent inflammation of the scrotum that too subcutaneous tissues of scrotum so it can occur by number 1 minor injury whenever there is minor injury this can occur sometimes it can occur due to the dilatation of urethra here there will be urethra right so there can occur because of the dilatation of urethra and there is procedures involving the urethra sometimes whenever you we give treatment to hemorrhoids even during that time whenever we give injection to hemorrhoids even during that time we can get this fourniers fourniers gangrene what are the organisms which are involved in this fourniers gangrene most commonly hemophilus sorry most commonly streptococcus is the most common organism which is involved okay the others like staphylococcus can be involved sometimes and sometimes e coli can be involved or sometimes clostridium can also be involved so these are the different organisms which are involved in fourniers gangrene so fourniers gangrene is a fulminating inflammation of subcutaneous tissue so what does it do so first it will infect so if this is the skin this is the subcutaneous tissue think that this is the mm, in the scrotum you will have a dartos muscle in the scrotum there will be dartos muscle think that this is dartos muscle and then there will be internal spermatic fascia okay there will be arteries uh, supplying the scrotum maybe cutaneous arteries just think that these are the cutaneous arteries what does this do this um, first this causes inflam infection of the subcutaneous tissue it will cause infection to the subcutaneous tissue and then sorry so uh, there will be first inflammation to the subcutaneous tissue and then this inflammation will reach the arteries so in the arteries what happens so if this is the one i'm just zooming on the arteries so in the arteries it causes obliterative arteritis it causes inflammation of the arteries thus obliterating the structure so it causes obliterative arteritis of the arterioles okay so once the arterioles are arterioles are obliterated so all these arterioles are obliterated so as a result there is no supply to the skin there is no blood supply to the skin as a result the skin undergoes gangrenous so the whole skin which is there the skin undergoes gangrenous okay and sometimes you know the gangrene may extend into the depth of the scrotum that sometimes you can even see the testis outside that sometimes even the testis is visible outside because of this gangrene sometimes even the testis can be visualized outside once you um, just uh, once you debride it okay clinical features it is most common mostly it is common in diabetes it is common in old age and it is common in malnourished and immunosuppressed individuals because in all those individuals there is decreased immunosuppression so this bacteria can easily colonize in the scrotum resulting in fourniers gangrene so what are the clinical features it is most common in old age so because it occurs in the scrotum there will be sudden pain in the scrotum which is severe there will be severe sudden pain in the scrotum the cellulitis which is there in the scrotum this can spread into the groin and sometimes if you know it can even spread into the anterior abdominal wall this uh, this can even spread into the anterior abdominal wall so we should be really careful about this there is extensive skin uh, scuffing and sometimes even the testis which is there that can become exposed 
when sometimes if the toxicity is very severe this can go to the renal vessels and this can cause renal failure okay you'll have to treat the individual so treatment is through first you'll have to maintain the fluid output so you'll have to use an iv line and then because it is caused by an antibio sorry it is caused by an organism you will have to use antibiotics for treating the disease always we will have to use antibiotics for treating the disease there may be white necrosis of the skin so as a result you'll have to debride the skin and uh, there's no need to remove the testes this testes is placed instead of removing the testes this testes is placed in the medial aspect of the thigh instead of removing it here you'll just place it in the medial aspect of the thigh so this is about the fornier's gangrene fornier's gangrene it is one of the commonest condition and uh, it can uh, be debilitating and it can even lead to death of the patient if it causes renal failure so main complication is renal failure so this is about fornier's gangrene guys thank you for watching my lecture if you have any doubts uh, please comment it in the comment section i will try to answer them so in my next class i would like to discuss about hydrocele so thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lecture thank you